Mayor Davis, members of the City Council, and other stakeholders within Brookhaven, we are excited to have this opportunity to present Collier's qualifications on this, on this important leasing assignment. It's important for a couple reasons. I think, first of all, it's, going to, it's, a, it's a big deal, it's an important deal, it's a deal that's going to be scrutinized. But more than that, we have found that by, by coming out correctly, it can turn into a positive um, uh, image for City of Brookhaven, which is what we all want for years to come. Over the last six months, Colliers has developed relationships with folks at Brookhaven as we worked on that short-term real estate requirement. During that time, we learned more about Brookhaven, but also we developed relationships with people in this room, people that will be involved, Bates going forward on a longer-term solution. However, if we uh, Mayor Davis, if we are selected to, to handle the long-term solution, we will take a step back, take a fresh look at Brookhaven's longer-term real estate requirements, and with that information, put forth a longer-term vision. But really, what we're going to do is listen to you guys, because quite honestly, each one of you has, has a different view of where Brookhaven should be. We're going to take that information and by three, by December 31st, 2013, we're going to execute, execute on that um, successfully. Mm -hmm. We have assembled a team of um, folks to handle this assignment. They've got 100 years of real estate experience. Um, our, our presentation today is going to focus on four topics. Um, one is our relevant experience. Number two will be um, our team that's going to be working on this assignment. Number, number three, it's going to be a timeline for success. And then finally, we're going to talk about um, Brookhaven's current situation versus the desired outcome. Having said that, um, we want to make sure that we're on target because we, for this, Marie, for this 10-minute presentation. With your help, we put that list together. But we want to make sure we're on target. If there was one other topic that y'all would hear from us other than the four I've just mentioned, what, what would it be? Y'all have any thoughts? We, we talked about the team, the timeline, the, um, the, the current um, situation versus the, the um, desired outcome, and then, and then our relevant experience. Those are the four things we're going to talk about. Marie, is there anything else you can think of? So we're kind of in agreement with those before. Oh, services. <clears throat> what your services that you offer as part of it? Okay, on. great. I think, Joe, if it's okay, can, can we we'll cover that? You yeah, okay, I just want to make, I want to make sure we're on point here. One of the key, key requirements, I think, the benefits of working with Cotters is this. In 2008, we went through the same process with the city of Dublin. Uh, we, we competed for that business and were selected. Since 2008, we, we have completed bill seven. We, we, including five deals and are currently working on two ongoing transactions for the city of uh, Dublin. If you look at the, if you look at the, the deals, I think it's, 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 uh, it might be instructive. Um, in, in February of 2009, Dunwoody was where Brookhaven is right now. They were wrestling with the city hall, police station, and as a result, they decided to co-locate. That was a contentious decision. The other part of it, uh, Mayor Davis was there was a big pull, similar to what you were going through, to go to Dunley Village. Everybody said you need to be in the village. Unfortunately, that was the most expensive option. There were some other limitations, so they went to uh, right down the street to Crimson East because it was inexpensive and, and just worked better. But I think that's it's relative. But if you can see, I think it's important to see what's happened here. Is that the PVC park? Yeah, 15.93 acres. That was a defensive move. It was zoned for apartments, but, um, but if you can look, it's 25,000 square feet space. But really, since then, it's really the land business. Done what he thought all along that the Cap County was under parking them. So since then, you can see they have we have added to, um, expanded uh, the park land for uh, Done what he. But also, you can see we're trying to create land easements between the parks. They want to create a park network. They think that's now that's. That's done with it. That's not Brookhaven Y'all's needs and, and, and goals are going to be different. But again, I think it's important to see that because if you work with Collier's, um, 
a couple things. We've got four folks here, but there are 107 people behind us in all the different specialty areas. We did, Bates, we did a billion, three hundred million dollars worth of deals last year. So what happens is for, um, for Brookhaven, as your needs change, you can call us, we can assemble teams as we've done on this project. This is a leasing deal, it's not a deal. We'll put teams of folks together that make sense and accomplish that. We'll represent your interests aggressively and we'll communicate with them, okay? I think secondly, um, having worked with the city of Dunwood, you know these are, municipal deals are different than private deals. Um, and as a result, there are pitfalls that come up from time to time. Let me give an example with the city of Dunwoody. There was a, um, a story that came out. Somebody had leaked some information about some real estate transactions. I don't know if you heard about it, but it was a big investigation. Dunwoody spent almost $100,000 investigating. The city attorney got fired. So we understand that municipal deals are different than private deals. We've got that experience, and we think that's, the, that's important. The other part of it is this. Because of our six-month relationship with you guys, we know we've got that, that December 31st drop dead date. We can hit the ground running in terms of ramping up. We can eliminate these potential pitfalls that happen on the municipal deals. And I think working with us, they'll give Brookhaven a better chance of meeting that 1231 drop dead date for these two leases we've done for you guys. Any, any other? If you don't have any other questions, I'm going to turn it over to, uh, to Jody. Thank you. <clears throat> I wanted to talk a little bit about the team and our qualifications and why we're the right team for this assignment. The three people that you would be working with on a daily basis would be myself, Bill Buist, who's to my left, and would help on the industrial side with the police station, and Fred Sheets. Between just the three of us, we have 75 years experience. We also brought with us, as uh, you had discussed, what are the other services that we offer? We're a full service team. I brought Rob Whittemore. Rob is newly with Colliers. He's been with us for about a year. He's got 16 years of experience. He does construction management, project management, move management, can help with furniture procurement. And no matter what the assignment, if you just need slight interior work, Rob can do it. If you need a building managed from the ground up, Rob can do that. So we are full service. In addition to that, Charles Swain, who is not here, he heads up our property management group. Charles manages over 31 million square feet throughout the Atlanta area and in the southeast. So if at some point in two or three or five years, whatever it may be, if you decide to buy a building and you don't want to manage it yourselves, we have that capability. And certainly any of these services can be a la carte, just like at the buffet. Um, also, if at some point you're looking to purchase, you need debt or equity placement, Hank Hall is one of our senior advisors and he has 26 years of experience. In addition to Steve Martin with SDM Partners, if you ever need a joint venture partner, that's his specialty, that's what he does. Um, Kay Hocutt, she's really the backbone of our team. She's the administrative assistant that keeps us all sane every day, and she's an invaluable member of our team. And Scott Amoson is our director of research. During this time period, when you're trying to uncover places, where can we go, things that are not obvious. The obvious things are easy to find. It's the ones that aren't obvious that really change from a good broker to a great broker, and that's what we bring to the table. Um, moving on, just to discuss, currently you're located here at 200 Ashford Center North, 12,000 square foot lease with it expiring at the end of this year, and 3,800 square feet at Corporate <coughs> Square on Buford Highway. From what we've learned so far, and of course we know this is not the gospel, but to date what we have heard is we need to find a new location and be in that space by the end of December of this year which is a large task. It's going to, you're going to need a team that can hit the ground running, that has the bandwidth, not only the um, experience, but the bandwidth to take this project on. Because I know just working on finding a temporary location took a tremendous amount of time, and I think finding a permanent location will find equally as much, if not more time. 
So I think that's key. Um, you want to get the best deal for your money. And that takes someone with long-term relationships within the brokerage community. Collier's has been around for over 45 years. We have very deep, long-term relationships. And the four of us have relationships throughout. So we think that we can meet that goal and beat the expectations that the city's going to have. To hit the ground running, we work every project the same. We start from what is the desired outcome and move forward. On this, it's find a place and begin it by January 1st, 2014. So we, we move backwards, which means the build-out has to start on or before October 1st, which means you want to have an executed lease document by August 1st. May 1st, have the building selected. Whoop, we're on this is the last slide. Um, March 1st, begin to identify and tour those buildings and have a kickoff meeting in the next two weeks. And when we started putting this together, we were amazed. I mean, we knew as brokers that it was coming up quick, but when we actually put the date on the paper, you're like, wow, we need to get on this. So we're ready, willing, and able to get started on your behalf. In closing, we wanted to talk about who we are, what we do, and how we can accomplish your goals. You need a brokerage firm that is not only someone we think you want to have fun with, because you're going to be working with these people on a daily basis. There's a lot of people you can work with, but we think we're kind of fun. Number two is someone that is capable, has experience in the municipal market, and can hit the ground running. Is there anything else that we can answer for you? If there was one more thing that we didn't cover, what would that be? Oh, this is a trick question. <laughs> <laughs> it is a trick question. No, it's not a trick question. <laughs> you covered experience with, of course, what you've done here right. and with Dunwoody. What other municipalities or county governments have you uh, experienced or been involved in tenant representation or even land acquisition representation? I can't speak for the whole room, so I can tell you that um, I have not been with other county or city governments. I've done a lot of nonprofit work, mm -hmm. which is in a sense similar. There's a board, there's a committee, there's a budget, and you have to stay within a very specific guideline. Mm -hmm. um, work with big brothers and big sisters of Metro Atlanta, just help them buy their new location at 17th and Peachtree Street. I'm under contract with Atlanta Legal Aid. So I'm working with a lot of attorneys, and if I can work with a whole bunch of attorneys, I think I can work with the city. Yeah. So, Maria, that's a good question. Uh, Collier's has represented uh, Widget Arts in almost 20 years in terms of their land acquisition. It's been a dynamic situation. <coughs> um, we've got a, uh, Josh Gregory who works for us. He works exclusively with nonprofits, schools, mm -hmm. churches. Mm -hmm. uh, he would be on the team to the extent we need him. He's, he's there. Mm -hmm. uh, but again, I. And so um, we've got a broad range of, as I said, we've got 170 folks. So we've got a broad range of people we can draw from from time to time if we, if we need that information. But I want to get back to what uh, the mayor asked about services we provide. What kind of services, in addition to what we provide, Mayor, do you think you might be Things that we can use in an economic development package for our city. We have all of that. That's That all comes underneath the research department. Yeah, well, why don't you talk about, we're working with a, a company called Berkeley Insurance, coming in from Connecticut. They have the same kind of questions. Talk about the information you provide. Right. Them. Well, they're looking for um, economic incentives, de you know, what are the demographics, what are the job tax credits. So we are providing them with all that information. Anything that you need, like if you need to disseminate information to put on the website about the city, about, you know, how many jobs have come in, what the demographic um, data is on people moving in or out, you know, how many single people are in there if you're trying to sell a new apartment or to bring new jobs. We can help you with all of that. That is, uh, we do that daily for all of our clients. Um, I probably should have addressed it, but... Getting no. time constraints. No. We were trying to get it all done. Good presentation. You're doing fine. Um, going back to what you had said that y'all, you know, we've been working with 
the city of Brookhaven and working with y'all from the beginning. Go back to the Governor's Commission. How did y'all get involved with the Governor's Commission? How did that develop? It really started with me, uh, Mayor. Um, I'm, I'm a resident of Brookhaven, and when I saw that the city was, uh, you know, was being formed and created, um, I just wanted to get involved as a, as a, you know, civic duty kind of thing. Uh -huh. And um, uh, so I started going to some of the meetings and things that were being held. That uh, uh, my, Mark, Mark Jacobs. Mike, Mike, Jacobs, Mike Jacobs was holding, and um, and then I found that a friend of mine happened to be one of the governor's appointees, Jed Beardsley. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, he's a real estate attorney, and I've done a number of deals with Jed over the years. And he asked me if I could help out on the real estate uh, side of what they had to do right. as their interim commission, and and then I brought in mm -hmm. the rest of these guys to help out to get us to the point we are today. What is what is Collier's relationship with Mr. Beardsley? What is it? He's just one of many uh, corporate real estate attorneys that we that we've had the opportunity to work with from time to time. So does closing? Is that closing for y'all? Yes. Well, um, we don't do a lot of closings. And usually, the, it, he works the lenders, you know, that do closings. Uh, most of our business is leasing, and when a building is sold, or when leases come up and have to be reviewed, he would be one of probably a dozen real estate attorneys, maybe more, that we've turned to from time to time to review leases and advise. Usually the client has their own attorney. Right. Okay, that's the normal situation. Mm -hmm. In those rare cases where our client needs a real estate attorney, needs some real estate expertise, we would recommend, and we usually recommend a half a dozen or three or four and let them pick. Right. Okay. Yeah, that's a good question. Up until <coughs> us working with Brookhaven, I, I didn't know Jay. I didn't know Jay. He's, he's a good guy. Right. I, you know, so. He did a lot of work for the city. He, he, he's he a, he's a qualified guy. No doubt about he's that. He's had one. <coughs> He's a hard worker, solid citizen. That, uh, yeah. You know, we have no, um, you know, no, no relationship that's uh, more than what I've just described. Okay. okay. You know, and just as interested citizens, as Bill said, he lives in Brookhaven. I've been in Brookhaven for 20 years, and we've got several of the stakeholders in our own firm that are in Brookhaven. So this is important not only from a business standpoint but from a personal standpoint because it's near and dear to our heart sure. and our community right it's time the awkward before any more any questions from y'all but you gotta have one question <laughs> I, honestly, those were the questions I had. But I think, yeah. well, thank, thank, you. Okay. thank you for the work thank you did you. in the past. And, yeah. It's uh, our pleasure. We have some books to give you. Sure. This is gonna. These are um, all the questions you were afraid to ask. <laughs> um, it's got all our qualifications in here, resumes. There's detailed information about the project management, construction management, and I know that we did not have enough time to cover everything. Right. Yeah, I was kind of quiet here, but you'll hear a lot of it moving forward. So she's going to jam here.